as you can see I've been doing a little bit more detailing work on the station or outside the front of the station building so these are the railings from scale model scenery uh, pedestrian railings so like in the picture there where they've got two legs going to the ground I'm not sure how well it is to see. Let me see if I can zoom in. So, as you can see there, I've cut one of the legs because I'm not sure they would have two legs going to the ground. So, the other thing I have is the Batman, uh, Batman scene craft or whatever it's called, and um, the little information panel. And the station sign. Notice I have no station name yet because I do not have a station name at the moment. Um, I'm still debating it. So the things I showed you earlier, these sort of platform or these island things, can go about there, and then we're going to have a crossing going across here, and then I'll fit a couple of Belisha beacons there. Uh, of, yeah, readily available so I need to do some zebra style lines across the road and I thought I'd try with these paint markers I've seen a few other YouTubers using them I thought well give them a go because they're about a quarter of the price of the Woodland Scenics version um, obviously you have a yellow one as well, so I'll practice on a, see what it comes out like on a on a bit of test stuff because this is quite textured, and um, I'll see what that uh, what that comes out like. Right, so I've masked up an area, and I've pretty much just eyed this in. This is um, I haven't measured this or anything. I've just used the tape and the width of the tape as a guide. And then I'm just going to colour these in with, um, obviously not the yellow one, with the um, with the white paint marker. This has got quite a, a large nib on it. It's a two to four, two to four mil nib. You can get these with smaller ones, which I might get for the actual road markings. Um, but I'll see how I get on with these, and hopefully, this is um, Tamiya tape, so it's fairly good quality. So I'm hoping there won't be any paint bleed underneath. Um, it is however stuck onto this textured surface so i'm not holding my breath but i'll try it see what it turns out right so this is literally about five minutes later so i'm going to pull this up and you are going to see it for the first time as i do but it's not too bad I might be able to live with that. Okay. For it. That's probably about it. See, over at this edge here, not actually sure what's going here. Probably be nothing, because it's so close to the edge of the, the baseboard anyway. So... Yeah, it's not too bad. Alright, while I've got the vehicles out, I'm going to show you this. So, I can't remember the brand of this, but this was a fire engine Unimog. So it was red, and it had like a snow plow and things like that. But I stripped it down, painted it. It's not a great paint job. And these were blue, the lights on top. Obviously I've painted them orange. Painted some of the, like, the fuel tank and things like that. And that is going to join my Western Power fleet. Obviously it's um, slightly the wrong scale. It's a, it's a HO model. So, but they do use them. They use the Unimogs. So I'll, I'll just park it up in the background somewhere and nobody will notice. Oh, there we go. So it's 
pretty much complete. So I've added the lines at the side there, and I've put these in place, they're not stuck down yet. I think that's probably about the right kind of spacing. So just the Belisha beacons to fit once they arrive, I've ordered them. Um, and in regards to the this pen thing, uh, it's all right. It's um, it's a bit, a little bit glossy, but I think that's fine. Doesn't look too bad. I can do a bit of weathering on it, make it look a bit used. So I've also added this junction here. Most of this is, is pretty much freehand. Just uh, I spoke in a previous video about covering this up and it was suggested as well that that would be an idea. It was always my plan to put a, a junction there. Um, it, this may well lead on to a mini roundabout, I think. But yeah, it's done. I used a bit of masking tape to make the, the giveaway triangle. Um, but yeah, so I just need to do a little bit more work on this curbing and pavement. And there's still some of the white plaster showing through. But other than that, it's alright. There's a bit of a, a ground level shot. So once the um, Belisha beacons are in place, um, the zebra crossing will be alright. Um, maybe we'll put some double yellow lines over this side. Alright, the other thing I've added is these tyres. Outside quick fit, they're from Scale Motor Scenery. Just stick them together and paint them black. I've got to touch these up a little bit, but they go quite well outside quick fit. Alright, that's about it for this video. If you want to see the previous video, click the top link. If you'd like to subscribe, you can click the bottom link. Thanks for watching, everybody.